So, due to my last Spider-Man video, I now have Spider-Man on the mind, so I figured we'll do another one. Um, and I want to talk about tune shading in the tune shader in Blender, which is what I have enabled here. Um, so you can see it's giving everything a very, very flat look, and what it looks like right here is I have in the shader editor the tune BSDF, right? And that's plugged straight in with my, um, like, suit which I have through this very, uh, I have it colored the way I want through a color ramp, which is going into the tune, uh, which looks like this. It works great in cycles, and I want to show how I just set this up. Um, basically, I normally don't use the sunlights, but I was finding it just does not look good with anything else. So I have a very similar setup to my last Spider-Man video, except we're using sunlights. We have a... Um, blue one, a red one, and then kind of a white directional one. So let's just get rid of them and start back from the beginning. So I have the backdrop is casting a little bit of light, but other than that, everything else in the scene is black. And we can even turn this off just so we can really see what we're doing. And I'm gonna straight up add in a sunlight. Now, um, you can see here off the bat, we've got some very interesting things happening. It's only lighting from a single point, which is correct, but because of the tune, it gives it a really cool effect where there's not values, it's just straight up color. And I think this is so cool and so fun to play with. I'm going to pump this up very bright, uh, something nice and contrasty like this. And I'm going to just move the sun around so that I can see what I'm doing better. And you'll notice when you're moving the sun that no matter where you put it in space, it does not affect the direction. Um, so if you want to change the direction, you have to actually change how it's rotated around. So I want it to be kind of in front of him and casting over onto him so that it's lighting up most of his body maybe part of his face. I don't know. You can you can play with this as you want and move it to your heart's content. I'm just going to also move this so I can see it in the camera view. Uh is what he said and then did not do it. Okay, so now I can manipulate this from the camera view so I can figure out exactly what kind of angle I want. That's kind of cool like it is right there, but that'll do for now. Uh, I'm going to duplicate this sun lamp and bring it down and cast it up. And I'm going to make this very faint, like two. And I'm going to make this a bright red for some backlighting. Actually, we could honestly even backlight it a bit more. Physically bring it behind and have it be lighting up behind him. I'm going to take another one, bring it over here, do the same thing. Uh, it's kind of cool with the red. I was thinking of making it blue but you can make this whatever color you want. So I'll just keep it red for now because I like this highlight. And wherever that second one is, I'm going to play with this just a little bit and try and get some more highlighting coming down on the leg. I really want to have just a little bit of highlight coming down right here. And I'm going to play with this color. That's the ticket. I'm going to have the blue along the top, the red along the bottom because having the red along the top is just not reading because the tune shader reacts differently to light than like the other shaders. So the blue is just eating this up and the red is eating this up, but doing it vice versa is not really getting the results I need. And this is a big thing in uh, lighting in general and in texturing is you've got to play with it. There's no copy and paste way to do it. So, I, I mean, this is not my Spider-Man model, so I can't give it to you, but even if I was and I was to just Give you the model and be like all right make a blue light make a red light and cast them in these directions what you come up with is going to look very different than what i come up with unless you like exactly copied my results and you know that's not what we want we want you to come up with your own thing that works and get ideas from watching this video that make you want to do your own work so um i like where this is headed i almost want one more red uh sun coming like straight up i want to get kind of that same effect i got up here but on the bottom of his head so let's see that's a bit too much so i'm going to just come in and tweak it something like that maybe that's looking all right 
something like that. I don't know. Just to kind of give the curvature of the head. Um, with the backdrop, that doesn't look great. So I'm going to keep the backdrop off for right now and just keep it to the black uh, background. So um, when I render it out, I have a few different effects going on and we can go break those down real fast. Uh, so I talked about lens distortion in the previous Spider-Man video, and I think I talked about glare a little bit, but let's just go through and, um, you know, work all these out one by one. So first I'm going to add in a little glare node. Um, I want a fog glow. I want to bring this threshold up to like two, or maybe even 1.5, just so we have a little bit of glow, but not a lot. Now I want to add in a lens distortion. Uh, I'm going to put this in. I'm going to do projector. And I believe what that will do is if I change the dispersion now, it's going to give it that like uh, red separated off, blue separated off look. Um, but I want to keep this kind of low, maybe 0 0.3, 0 0.2, uh, somewhere in there. And then I want to take another one, Lens Distortion. I'm going to do Fit, and I'm going to bring both these up, maybe to 0 0.03. And Distortion basically is like how distorted the image is, which makes sense. Um, and then the Dispersion again is how, like, uh, how much the values are dragged off from each other. So I want to keep this to about 0.02-ish, 0.03 just to give it a little bit of dispersion. And that is looking pretty decent right there. Um, and again, you can play with the light as much as you want. I just want to do a little introduction how to do the tune shader. So that's like a really quick little tutorial on like the tune shader. I'm still figuring it out, so I'll keep you guys updated as I go. Um, this is just a little bit of rambling, but um, yeah, that's what I've discovered with it so far. It's pretty fun, but it's a little bit of work to get it so it looks decent. But I'm going to try and throw together an animation or something and figure out how it works, and I'll come back and do a more advanced tutorial on it.